Hello guys and welcome to the channel. If uh, you see something in this video that you think is going to help you out in the future, please be uh, sure to consider to leave a like. If uh, you're returning and you like the videos that you've seen so far, maybe also consider a subscription. That'd be appreciated. Uh, we're in the 2000 Accord today. It's been running really uh, well since I've rebuilt the engine in it. Uh, came out to get in it the other day and went to crank and this is what I got. Now, this is a five speed uh, with a clutch so in order for this to work right the car you have to have the clutch pushed in so i'm going to do that now clutch is all the way engaged now i'm turning the key well you can hear the fuel pump prime the dashboard's on everything looks good and i turn the key absolutely nothing President Trump rebuilt the US yep, sorry about that okay so Something that's very common on these cars once they get a little bit older is the switch for the clutch safety uh, can go bad or it can it can have a part of it go bad. It's not even really a mechanical part. And I'm going to show you here in just a second exactly what to look for if you run across this problem with your car. All right, I'm looking at the floorboard of the car now. And you can see on the floor that piece there. There's a uh, another little blue piece there. And there's another one over there. What that is, is that's a rubber stopper that is attached to um, your clutch pedal and the button for your clutch pedal. There's, when you push the clutch down, it, the button opens up and when you release the clutch, the, the button pushes against that rubber stopper and that's what actually uh, causes, it tells the computer that the clutch is no longer engaged and it'll allow the car to crank. In fact, there's a, another piece right there. So if you see that on the floorboard of your car, that's what your problem is going to be. That a rubber stopper has gotten old, cracked, and broken, and one too many times, and it's finally fallen out. I'm going to get the uh, car um, backed up here out of the garage so I have a little bit more room to work. I'll come back when I get that done. Okay. I'm going to try my best to show you this. Let's see here. All right, you have one safety switch here for your clutch. Um, when you push the clutch down, you see it lets that open up. You see I already have a nickel glued to that. It's because the stopper on that one broke once upon a time. And what will cause that to happen is your cruise control won't work. When your uh, car actually will not crank up, it's this upper one here. And that's a lot harder to get to. You can't even see the stopper. It's on behind here on the clutch itself. So what you have to do is you have to actually at least in my experience, just take the clutch all the way out, which is a pain in the butt. I don't have a good enough lighting in here to show. There's no way I'm going to be able to video taking the clutch out of this car. But uh, you have to disconnect. Let's see if that's a little bit better light for you. You have to take it apart from here. This is the part that actually works your hydraulics for this car. And then you have to take out this bolt here, and there's two more behind it. I think there's a total of three that bolted to the flywheel. You don't have to take the switches out. You just have to disconnect their connectors. I've already pulled the top one loose. I don't know if you can see that at all. Yeah, that's it there. It has, see it has two connectors in it. Now, if you're out in the woods somewhere and you're in trouble, you can put you a paper clip. Or a little piece of wire or anything like that you can across those two things and the car should start after that uh, it's dangerous though because the car actually when the clutch is engaged will allow the car to crank also so uh, that's just for in a bind so I'm going to get this clutch pedal out I'm going to disconnect up here also <clears throat> and again this is just a, I'm I, I'm 200 pounds and I'm crammed up underneath the dashboard here trying to show you so I'm going to get the clutch out and I'll get it out and I'm going to do this on the uh, out where we can sit a little bit better. All right, now that I got the uh, clutch pedal out, I'm going to show you what I was dealing with. Uh, this is the part that uh, works your hydraulics. It has a pin that goes through that's held in with a cotter pin on this side. That has to come out. as a nut here, a nut back there, and up at the top on that red piece is a bolt that goes through there. So you have to take those three out, and you have to disconnect both of the connectors here. From the switch switches on the clutch pedal you just kind of ease that out of there and we'll take you back and show you what i've got now 
All right, here's the clutch pedal out of the car. I'm trying to show you a little bit better what we were looking at. This is the bottom switch. That's basically more or less for your cruise control. Uh, when you push down the clutch, it opens this switch and it tells the uh, computer that the clutch is depressed. It'll turn your cruise control off. This is your safety switch here, start safety switch. It works the same as this switch. Let me put this on the stand right and I'm going to try to show you how it works. All right, when this is open, you can see that switch. I have a nickel that's glued on here from before because that stopper had broken on this at one point. Our problem now is the stopper that's at the top. It's really hard to see. Okay, maybe you can see it in here. Okay, you can see where my finger is pointing at. I try to like. Okay, there you go. You can see where my fingers point out there. That's the stopper that broke and fell out. So I'm going to do the same thing I did for the lower one. I'm going to glue a nickel on that with JB Weld. Uh, come back when I got that set up. All right, to do this repair, we're going to be using the infamous JB Weld. Yes, we are. It's not only good for crankcases, piston rods, connectors, and things like that. So Mix this out half and half. One half is, if you've never used a resin epoxy before, one half is resin, the other side is the hardener. You just kind of want equal amounts. I never thought I would be doing a JB Weld video, but here we go. Alright, so we're going to mix that till it kind of turns it gray. Okay, be sure to get that off my screwdriver before it sets. Alright, and all I'm going to do now Let's take my nickel, coat one side of it. With that coated with JB Weld, I'm just going to apply that. I'm going to go back in, push the clutch back down, and put this over that hole that was there. Uh, then we'll let the clutch reset itself, and it'll actually, this will stick between the clutch and the switch and that until it gets hard, and then we'll test it after that. All right, guys, we're back in the car. We got the uh, clutch put back in. I know with the magic of editing, that looks like an easy job, but that is not one that I like to do. I'm a big guy. I do not like crawling up underneath the dashboards of Japanese-made cars. There is no room. I'm sorry I couldn't film more of that for you. Uh, I'll give you a couple caveats as you're putting that clutch back in. The uh, hydraulic piston that comes through the firewall, of course, is attached to the uh, clutch master cylinder, and the two studs that come through the firewall are also attached to the clutch master cylinder. So when you go to start putting the clutch pedal back in it can push those studs back because that master cylinder is actually loose underneath the underneath the uh, hood of the car now so what you have to do is you just grab the the plunger for the master cylinder and pull it back inside the car to pull those studs back in as you're working the clutch pedal back over the top of it also keep in mind that as you're maneuvering that thing is very tight in there there's a lot of wires uh, do not make sure that you're not pulling on any anything under there that's important especially uh, this you know this car is 20 years old now. Those wires are old and brittle. It probably wouldn't take much to pull one out, and then you, you after you fix that problem, you get back in the car and realize you got a whole other set of problems because you had some wires pulled loose or shorted out in there. Okay, with no more talking and no more further ado, clutch in, key on. There you go. So there you go, a nickel fix for a bad clutch uh, safety switch in your car. If the switch goes bad, yeah, you need to replace that whole thing. If um, you, you do the steps that I showed you, that stopper's still there, and the clutch, you know the pin on the switch is getting pushed in, then you take the uh, connector out of the back of the switch and jump it like we talked about with a uh, paper clip or a little piece of wire or something like that and the car cranks after that, then that probably means that your switch is bad. Uh, there, you saw how tight everything is under there. It's only, you have to loosen uh, the nuts on it and just pull it out and put the new one in, but that's a pain in the butt even to do that. You really need to get the clutch all the way out for that repair, but it's not much fun either.
at any rate, I really appreciate you guys checking out the video. Uh, if anything in there you think you could have done better or comments, concerns, put those down in the comments and we'll talk about them. I appreciate you guys watching.